Again tonight with our big story, the family of the 19 year old armed robbery suspect who was shot and killed by Phoenix police while running away now won $6 million from the city. That's according to a notice of claim filed this afternoon. Team 12's Bianca Bono has been following this story. She is live outside the family's lawyer's office in Scottsdale. Bianca? Well, guys, Harris's father and his legal team say the video obtained by 12 News shows that the shooting of Jacob Harris was excessive. But a former Phoenix police officer who also watched the video says the officers involved did everything right sad situation, but in the end, I understand the, the angsting of the father and I understand some thoughts of those in the community that are activists, but the police were only responding to this young man's actions. Retired Phoenix police officer David Cothy analyzing video of a brazen armed robbery at a Whataburger in January. The video showing masked suspects climb into the drive through window, then force employees into a back room at gunpoint. Community advocates critical of the officer's decision to stay outside. Why did police stay in their cars and watch the robbery take place rather than go in and intervene? The, the most obvious answer to that question is it would have created a much more dynamic and dangerous situation. You would have now had the employees, potentially customers coming up, involved in what could have been a gunfight. The suspects leaving in a getaway car. Then video from police helicopter showing police stop them with a pit maneuver. After a flashbang, 19-year-old Jacob Harris jumps out of the car running from police. Officers then begin firing. A police report says Harris pointed his gun at officers and was shot at least twice in the back. Phoenix police photos showing a gun on the ground in the area where Harris went down. I would say there's evidence from that video if in fact what fell out of his hands was a gun, that during the course of his running, whether it was planned on the young man's part or inadvertent, he was pointing a gun. Kothi says the officer's decision to shoot appears justified. There's three parts of the law that justifies the use of deadly force in this situation. But Harris's family filing a notice of claim, saying officers lied in their police report that Harris never pointed a gun at police. Somebody please tell me in that video where he pointed a gun at him. Somebody tell me. They also say there's no evidence that Harris was at Whataburger during the armed robbery. He was murdered. And anybody who looks at that video and says he wasn't murdered, you're blind. And attorneys for the family say they will settle their claim with the city for $6 million. Meantime, the three other suspects involved in that armed robbery are now facing felony murder charges. We're live in Scottsdale. Bianca Bono, 12 News. Bianca, thanks.